Today we're at Black Rocks. It's about 10 minutes from where I grew up as a kid. So it's a cliff that's always been pretty special to me and has one of the most iconic gritstone routes that exist. It's called Gaia, first climbed by Johnny Dawes in 1986. What it lacks in kind of in size and stature, it definitely um, it definitely give, gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of a kick when you climb it. And harder, faster, which is the direct finish to it, and that's the route that I would really like to try and do today. That kind of just takes things to to another level. On Gaia, realistically, in all of the hard moves, you're probably still okay to fall off. Harder, faster, on the other hand, you can just kind of forget about that at the top. There's no illusion. You're up there on your own, and you have to you have to find a way to deal with that. To be completely honest with you, my motivation for trying harder, faster is still a bit of a mystery to me. I think a big part of it is to do with the uh, second and only repeat of the route coming uh, from my friend Toby Benham, or Lucky Chance, as he later changed his name to, who unfortunately died a couple of years ago. And I actually belayed him on that ascent when we were both really, really young. He came over from, from Australia. He was on a around the world tour for, for climbing, mainly sport climbing. And he heard about the Gritstone being a bit of a nutter, he thought, ah, oh, that sounded like something that he might enjoy. And I offered for him to come and stay with me and my family. I was still living at home at the time, just for a couple of days. Toby ended up staying with us for, I think, three months. He spent Christmas with us. <laughs> we had all had Christmas Day at my folks' place, and we were all in their, their bed opening presents on Christmas morning. I actually bought him a, an offset friend to use in Harder Faster. And later that day, We'd been out climbing on the Gritstone, it was kind of a miserable, soggy day. And then the, the sun came out, the skies w were blue, and we said, maybe harder, faster, it might dry up. So we drove back over to here as it was getting dark, and Toby just completely nonchalantly just put his gear on and just set off up the route. I don't even remember him top roping it before he went for it, which is completely nuts. Now I know what the route's like. I was belaying at the bottom, crossing my fingers that he wasn't going to fall because I knew the consequences, but he was absolutely in his element. And he just did it. Toby climbed the route on, on Christmas Day, and here we are on uh, Christmas Eve 2020. Makes me feel very, very old. But hopefully, I'm probably a little bit wiser of a climber than I was back then and I've been putting quite a lot of, of time and, and effort into this thing so now it's just that classic question of can I actually commit to doing it
harder, faster, always represented the epitome of what a hard grip route is. The climbing isn't too bad, but it's hard enough that you never feel in control. And especially the style of the climbing, just being on those open slopers at the top. But you can't, if something goes wrong, you can't pull harder to get out of the situation. You just hope it doesn't go wrong. And I always really thought that it was probably one of the harder routes on Gritstone and a route that I would probably never do. And now here we are for some reason, a dad, having not climbed any hard grit routes for years and years and years. And for some reason it came into my head as, as I don't know, the right thing to try.